Chapter 1 August 2, 2019 Samara McKenna's arms, legs and even eyelids weighed her down, pulling her deep, deep into blackness she couldn't escape. Her breath sat like a boulder in her chest. She couldn't remember anything beyond the heaviness. She focused on her breath, steady and slow, in and out. As she focused, the weight lightened and her surroundings became less muted. Samara brushed leaves with her fingers, and twigs poked under her body. A large smooth rock rested beneath her hand. She recognized the earthy scent of forest and dirt, that comforting scent of summer. She detected the buzz of insects, the singing of a bird far away, and the rustling and muttering of something that wasn't of the woods. A maniacally gleeful snicker cut short, and steps moved toward her. The heaviness fled in the frigid, cold wake of fear. Soon, soon. The terrible voice whispered, as a cool shadow fell over her face. She'll be coming around soon. Then the real fun can begin. As the footsteps retreated, Samara chanced a peek through slitted eyelids. Harry Smith, a co-worker at the Colorado Dude Ranch where she was spending the summer, stomped away from her, his long muscled arms fidgeting at his sides. He'd always given her the heebie-jeebies, but in the awkward harmless staring way, not the sociopath way. It was one of the reasons she left the ranch every day she had off, to get a break from the two familiar touches Harry liked to give and the sense that she was being watched. She remembered cleaning up the weekly barbecue the dude ranch put on for its guests. She had played the Appalachian dulcimer, the stringed instrument her mother had left her with, while the guests had danced around the fire, eating ribs and drinking sarsaparilla. The job was her latest adventure, singing and playing for people who wanted to pretend they were back in the Wild West while staying in the comforts of modernized, rustic cabins. As far as her rotating temporary jobs went, this one hadn't been all bad, aside from her altitude sickness and Harry's creepy stares. She'd enjoyed the peace of the mountains that shot straight into the clear blue sky. The clean air and calm atmosphere had given her a desire she had pushed to the pit of her soul for so long she figured it had died. A desire to find a home, maybe even settle down and start a family. Just as fast as that yearning had surfaced, it looked like fate would tear it away. Again.